Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Marilyn and my channel is Making with Marilyn. Now I do all things crafty, but on today's video, I am making a super simple, super quick little present for a student aide at school. So I work at a school and I have a student aide. I want to have something for her for her first day at school. So I have this really inexpensive little bag from Michaels. I'm going to put a rhinestone design on it, and then I'm going to fill it with candy and treats. So it's barely going to cost anything, and I think it'll make a nice impact on her. I think she'll appreciate it. Now the other thing is, if you are starting out with rhinestones, then you need to start with small projects that are easy, that don't cost a lot if you mess them up, and this is a perfect project for that. So let me show you what I'm going to use. Besides my bag, I'm going to use some rhinestones that I got from the baby's booty. I'll show you more about those in a few minutes. I have some rhinestone hot fix transfer tape. I've already used this once or twice, but you can reuse it until it's not very sticky. I have my brush to brush the rhinestones in the template, my rhinestone picker tool, and then my template. And for this one, I'm just using glitter cardstock. Now the baby's booty, she does rhinestone buy-ins, and there's a couple days left in this month's buy-in. I'm going to use rose rhinestones for the ring around the outside. And then these are rose AB stones. And I believe this was a new product for this month. And they're gorgeous. The AB adds an iridescent coating to the top. And I think those two will go well together, but they'll look kind of similar. Now, if you're interested in the baby's booty buy-in, I'm going to put a link to her store in the video description. She does one almost every month. Usually it's toward the end of the month. She has a lot of different options. She has large containers. Now this one is called an ice pick because you pick five colors of stones and then each little color comes in its own little ice chip. So I'm going to start with the rose. And just going to dump a few on here. It might be a little bit hard to see because my cardstock's so dark. But I dump some on there. And then I just take this little paint trim brush. And I'll link to it in the video description as well. I go in circular motions. And I try to get all those little holes to fill in with rhinestones. Now I'm not putting a bunch of pressure against them mainly the weight of the brush. They bump into each other and they just kind of fall into place. Alright, so it looks like we're pretty well done. I'll brush the excess ones off and then anything that I need to fix, I'll use this little rhinestone picker tool for that. Now you want to make sure that you brush the excess ones away from your design so that when you use your hotfix tape, you don't pick up some extra ones. Now usually, if I'm using cardstock, which is not the gold standard, it's kind of plan B, but when I use the glitter cardstock, I usually tape it down. But this is a small design, and it's like one in the morning, so I'm not doing that tonight, but if you use a cardstock, I would tape it down. The reason is, is if you don't, if you don't make sure it's down flat on the table, your stones can get under it in those holes. All right, so I have a couple of extra ones to pick up here. Then I'm going to inspect this. I see something going on up here. I think I just need to move one over. Had a couple that were stuck together. I'll break those apart, but meanwhile, I'm just grabbing two new ones. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pick those up with my hot fix tape. That way, if I bump this while I'm brushing in these stones, I don't have to worry about it. So I'm just taking the hot fix tape off the backing. I'm saving the backing because I'll put it right back down so I can reuse it. All 
I'm going to hold this hot fix tape about an inch above it or so, kind of have it bent in the middle a little bit. And then when I go with a downward motion, I just have to commit. I can't really hesitate. I can't put it down, pick it up. I just have to commit. So I want to put some pressure against those to make sure that they're good and stuck to this transfer tape. Then also, it looks like one's kind of out of place. I can shove it over with my fingernail, move it back where it goes. Looks like I have one up there that shifted just a little bit. Other than that, I think I'm pretty good. So I'm going to slowly pull this up so that if any don't come up with the hot fix tape, I can lay it right back down, push on it, and try it again. All right, I'm just going to leave this sitting on its backside. So that was the rose colored stones. Now I'm going to put the rose AB in the middle of the circle. Now with the AB coating, they have shades of blue and pink and purple, and they're just so pretty. I'm going to use that same motion, just a circular motion. Get these to fall into place. Oh my goodness, this is my first time to use this color. They are beautiful. Beautiful. Now, like I said, if you're watching this the day it uploads, the buy-in ends in two days. The buy-ins open through this Friday. I'll put the dates in the video description. If you're watching this later, don't fret because she has one almost every month, like I said earlier. And her stones are such beautiful quality. All right, so it looks like most of my holes got filled. I have a few extra stones on top. So I'm just going to grab one, put it in an empty hole here. Grab another one extra, put it in an empty hole here. Let's see, I have one upside down that's extra. I'll just move it off. Grab that extra one, move it. Grab this extra one, move it. And now any other extras that I have on here, I'll just move off. Okay, I think that's it. I'm going to take a, just a little bit of time to inspect this. One more extra one, I think I'm done. So I'm going to move those away again so that I don't accidentally pick some of those up with my transfer tape. And here's my other piece of transfer tape. Now, when I first started doing rhinestones, after I pressed my stones onto my shirt or whatever I was doing, I wadded this up. Don't do that. It is such a great money saving to reuse it more than one time. Now, the way you'll know if you need to just go ahead and trash it is by how many stones <laughs> don't stick to it when you pick it up. So let me show you what I'm talking about. When I lift this up, if stones just don't want to come up, this is too old, I need to throw it away. But see how well that's doing? It picked up every stone, and this might be my third use for it. Now, because I want really good pressure against my rhinestones, I'm going to use this dense pad that I have from a heat press. But, so that I can just work right here, I'm going to use my Cricut Easy Press. Now, I want to put the thick parts of this little bag over this top so that I get nice firm pressure against the stones. So just like you might put the collar of a shirt over the top of your heat press pad, that's exactly what I'm doing.
All right, so I want to try to center this, but I'm not going to be ultra picky about it. So I'm going to set it down, eyeball it. If I need to move it, I'm going to pick it up and set it back down. I'm not going to drag it. That's how I started doing it, and I was knocking rhinestones off. So actually lift it off your fabric, move it over, and set it back down. Just adjust this down a little bit, and I'm going to call that good. Now typically, you press these on at 350 for 12 seconds. I'm going to have two layers. So the first layer, I'm just going to press for 10 seconds. You remove the hotfix tape when it's hot. I'll lay the second layer down, then I'll do a full 12 seconds. So even though my time was set to 12, I took it off with two seconds left. Oh my gosh, they're pretty. Then remember, I'm keeping this transfer tape until it's no longer good. Okay, I want that to cool down just a little bit before I lay these down. I want you to see this. Look at those rose AB stones. Now this is just the regular rose. And there's not a huge contrast, and that's what I wanted. That's okay. I wanted just a nice subtle difference, and I really wanted to see how those two work together. Now this time I'll do the full 12 seconds. And that project was just that fast and that easy. And look at the beauty of those. You see different colors reflecting off them as you turn them. Look at that. As you turn them in different directions. So thanks so much for joining me for the video. Again, check out the Baby's Booty store and start on a small project if you're new. Now I do plan to put out a couple of design videos for rhinestone templates. I had a couple people ask me if I would do some more of those. So if you're interested, make sure you're subscribed and make sure that you've clicked the bell and selected the all notification. That way YouTube lets you know anytime I upload new content. Thanks again for joining me and until my next video, bye bye.